Welcome to the Drain My Lawn channel, where our work reflects the God we serve. If you'd like to see your project on our channel, go ahead and check us out on DrainMyLawn.com and we'll see how we can help you. We'll get to this project. Here what we're going to do is install a French drain um, somewhere starting around right here. Uh, this would be filled in and sloped so we don't have to build a French drain there and it doesn't encroach into the yard. Um, we'll run our uh, our trench all the way through. Um, we'll get it really nice and smooth uh, so water will move uh, very smoothly all the way through here. Uh, we'll take it about to this point and there we'll convert it to a solid uh, double wall corrugated pipe and run it about 70 feet out to the corner where there's a, a ditch over there and uh, That way, uh, but this will be a burrito wrapped French drain with uh, with fabric uh, Perforated pipe and number five crushed rock uh, in there. We'll wrap it up and then when we're completed the extra stone uh, we, we, we can actually dress the entire top uh, with um, With the with the rock so the appearance of when we're done will just be like a rock bed um, but it'll stop erosion and uh, it'll get us um, get us our French drain in there that's not going to get clogged and it'll continue to run out. Um, we're out here digging the trench, um, getting it uh, get for the French drain. And uh, so this is good. Uh, we hit a uh, like bunch of rock, like just boulders and stuff that we can't move here. Um, it's a little bit higher than where I'm standing. So what we're going to do so we're going to build this up a little bit so we can keep it downhill uh, here, and then it looks like we're good from there to there. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it going downhill um, from from here going down. So we had. A huge boulder running across here that was preventing us from going through and the customer uh, was gracious enough to allow us to borrow his uh, jackhammer which is great to have customers have jackhammers um, check out the size like I'm just fracturing there's still all that underneath the dirt right there it's all just a solid stone and we've we've carved a path through here for our for our drain all right we have our trench Doug, uh, we'll clean it up as we're installing the pipe. You can see how flat the bottom is. It'll help the the um, the infill to get around the pipe. Um, it's a little raised up here on the edge, but as you can see here, we're about 16 inches, 15 inches um, below grade, and let's keep that depth and actually go a little deeper as we get down here. Um, it shallows out to about over here on the edge, um, just because where our trench starts, um, it's about 12 inches down right here. I'll show you. Yeah, about a foot. All right, we're getting ready to install our double wall corrugated N12 pipe into um, into our trench going through the woods over there. Um, something we're gonna do, a little different, is we uh, we do like our normal thing, is we tape the uh, tape joints to kind of keep water in and roots out. But here, we've uh, double wrapped, actually probably triple wrapped, the uh, the joint in geotextile and um, zip tied inside of the corrugation. So uh, roots are going to have a real hard time, uh, just so they don't they don't even try to sniff out here. They're going to be deterred. We have our pipe in double wall corrugated. You see, we're wrapping the uh, the joints in a geotextile multiple times to help prevent roots from wanting to get in there. Over here, uh, you can see the, it's kind of suspended by the, uh, by the roots. We're gonna push that down as we go. All right, I'm gonna show you something here um, that's not typically observed or really thought about um, on a lot of projects, but uh, see this, this track right here is actually where our trench is. I had backfilled it, um, backfilled it really well with the, with the bucket here, um, and then I drove the track of the excavator right in in the trench to compact it uh, very well so i didn't i didn't fill it all the way i filled it right up to the top knowing that i was going to compact it you could see how much compaction i got this is a this is a really important part of keeping water and keeping roots out of your trenches as well as stopping future uh settlement 
Um, so what would happen if I did not pack this, this would be really fluffy and would hold water and the roots of all the, the trees would love this place. Just like if uh, you tilled up the ground and you had grass growing everywhere. So um, this is real important to compact your trench very, very well. Uh, that will prevent, uh, that'll prevent uh, water um, from holding in there just in the soil and roots from being attracted to the area. All right, gravel's here and we have our, uh, that's where our French train's gonna start. We have our trench cleaned, ready to go. Took more jackhammer work today to get that, get that through. We're just gonna clean up just a little bit around the edges. You see really good, that, that was one whole, that was one whole stone all the way across and we had to go right through it. You can see on both sides, like there's the wall. And we brought the end of the, the beginning of the drain, we brought it up so we can get a, a nice flow downward, get the water moving uh, because we, were, we had some challenges getting deeper over here. So we just brought the end of over here. We're still about a foot down over here, maybe a little bit deeper than that. Maybe I haven't measured it yet, but we're pretty deep. All right, so we're getting our um, our French drain filled in right now. You see it's lined. Uh, we, this is where we just tested to see if it, we can close it because we have, but it's really wide in this area. Um, well, what we're gonna do, we're, uh, we're gonna fill this all up with, uh, with number five stones washed gravel. Um, that's for cost because this is a very large French drain. And uh, we're gonna have a perforated pipe down here. And we're all done, we'll wrap it up. It's connected into our double wall corrugated underneath where they're gonna park stuff. All right, we have our gravel in, our burrito wrap drain. The reason we're doing this and then we're gonna dress on top with gravel is we'll have this French drain will always never get, will always stay free of dirt and won't clog uh, because of the geotextile. All right, we're finished here and we're just kind of cleaning up, but before it gets dark, I wanted to show you. Um, this is where our gravel starts. Um, customer can put like some of the riprap there to kind of make it decorative, but our French drain starts here, uh, the wrapped French drain. Runs all the way through. This dirt just is from the surface where we're blowing everything off. It'll settle through, but it won't clog our drain. We have the whole thing dressed in stone, so it doesn't look like it, but it's about two feet deep of drainage all the way down. And it ends, French drain ends here, but then it's about 80 feet of double wall corrugated. 